Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's the Black Rose Herself. All right, so this is my fifth video and I'm super, super excited because this video is going to be a little more personal. Um, I know I've done a vlog already. I've done a get to know me. I've done my intro and I even did a read aloud uh, for a user that requested commotion in the ocean, in the ocean, sorry. Um, and that was actually really cool read aloud because I had never done something like that. So it was really fun to do something new. This video is a little more personal because it's going to be me showing you my process of applying my makeup. So right now, this is going to be the first time you guys see me barefaced and all, uh, with no makeup, no moisturizer, no nothing on my face right now. And I'm going to show you guys the steps in the process for when I get ready to go out or, you know, I go out um, with friends or with family, XYZ. So... I'm going to show you guys the products that I use, why I use those products, and then the process itself. So let's get started. Okay, so the first product I use on a daily basis, or I try to use on a daily basis because I don't wear makeup every day, or I try not to because I feel like it's really heavy on my face sometimes because I have sensitive skin, is the Thayer's Facial Mist with Witch Hazel. It is rose petals and it is amazing. It is probably my favorite thing to use because it feels so refreshing on my face after I've taken a shower, after I've done my facial cleanser, after I've taken off my makeup, and it gives my face this very airy feel, and it makes my face smell like rose petals. Those are my babies, so why wouldn't I? <laughs> All right, so I try to use that on a daily basis. If I don't use the witch hazel, which is absolutely okay, because not everyone is gonna use witch hazel on a daily basis anyway, I use the Jergens Ultra Healing Lotion. It is amazing. It's my favorite lotion brand. Um, it doesn't have a really strong scent, which is great. And it has vitamin C, E, and B5, and it repairs and heals extra dry skin, which is definitely something for me because my skin is so sensitive. So it definitely makes me feel, makes me feel, makes my face feel a lot cooler and refreshed in the mornings and especially after a nice cold shower after a long day of being out and just dealing with people kidding um this i use at night and in the morning when i take a shower after i take my makeup off or first thing in the morning once i jump in the shower i think just got out the shower so it's kind of wet from the shower um it's the four in one facial cleanser by elements yes it is a skincare line for men however um, it does work on my face. It definitely has helped my face with a lot of the breakouts and a lot of the acne that I've had on my forehead, unfortunately. Um, I love it because it is really hydrating in the shower and it smells really good. So it definitely has been helping my face a lot, clearly, um, with all the breakouts and everything. And then because we wear the mask on a consistent basis, uh, a lot of people have been getting like mask acne because you need to change your mask and you need to wash your masks. Please make sure that you change and wash your masks like every week. Don't wear the same mask for like a month because that's very gross. Um, but it definitely has been helping with that as well. So I don't break out as much around my cheeks and my, you know, this mouth area. So that's great. All right. And last but not least, when it comes to my face, these body prescriptions, facial wipes are amazing i have a four pack the first one i think was like cucumber or kiwi cucumber something like that this one's french lavender and then i have two more i believe the other one is something floral related i can't remember off the top of my head now i didn't bring it up but yeah so those are the non-makeup products that i use on my face on a daily basis whether it's in the morning or at night and they are my favorite products to use because again, they make my face feel really soft. They hydrate my skin. They smell amazing on top of that. And they're just really refreshing after a long day of even of either wearing a lot of makeup or even just the basic makeup that I wear on a daily basis. It definitely helps. So when it comes to makeup, I'm not one of those women that does the setting powder, the foundation and the concealer and everything in between to do like a full face of makeup. I personally feel like it's too much on my face. When I was back in middle school and I started wearing makeup, especially in high school at the time, and 
I think like my first two years out of high school, I used to do the whole nine. I would do foundation, I would do concealer, I would do setting powder, I would do um, eyeshadow. I would try all these different things on my face to see what I liked and what I didn't like. And I learned that, especially in the summer and when it starts getting hotter, like now in the spring, foundation and I do not mix. <laughs> I don't like when, even if I have the facial uh, makeup setting mist that it makes me sweat and it makes my face feel really heavy. So I would rather just not use it at all. So I don't use foundation. Um, when it comes to going out and when it comes to getting dressed up and X, Y, Z, I will go a little further in the ranks to do my face and do my makeup. But for the majority of it, I don't do foundation because I feel like I don't need it. And that's just personally my view on it. But hey, to each their own. Um, so now I'm going to show you guys the products that I use when it comes to doing my makeup. I don't use all of these on a daily basis. The ones that I'm going to show you first are the ones I do use on a daily basis. And then the rest are items that I do use when I really want to get really dressed up and I want to do like a full look. So for my eyebrows, um, first of all, I have none. <laughs> um... I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow gel in dark brown. Uh, I've been using Anastasia for, I want to say maybe three, almost four years now. Um, my best friend put me onto it. It is amazing. I love how soft it is and I love how it just goes really neatly onto my eyebrows. So I definitely am a big fan of those makeup products. When it comes to eyeliner, I use CoverGirl's Ink It, right there, in black. Um, I always go with black. I don't do brown, I don't do blues. I'm not really a big fan of going out of those shades. I've, if I need to, I'll use brown or blue, uh, but I usually go with black. And I will put that on my underline right here and on the inside of um, my eyelid. Eyeliner helps my eyes look a little bit bigger and it looks really nice, so why not? I just got this a couple days ago. It's Revlon So Fierce Mascara. It's really good. It helps so much because I barely have eyelashes, as you guys can see, like barely anything. So it helps my eyelashes pop and look a lot more fuller than what they really are. And I'm not one to put on lashes every day. I used to do it probably like two, three years ago. I don't know how I did it. I don't know how I got up first thing in the morning for work and would do a whole face of makeup for work. I can't, I can't do that anymore. It's too much for me. The next product is the Illegal Length Fiber Extensions Mascara from Maybelline New York. It's dingy as hell. I need to get a new one. Don't violate me. And I do two coats of each mascara. So the So Fierce and the Illegal Length. And I feel like doing two coats of each on the sets of eyelashes definitely helps because it just accentuates your eyelashes more. It makes them look bolder. It makes them look, you know, more out there. It pops. So it definitely helps. I need to try new mascaras. So if you guys have any recommendations for any new products that I should definitely try out, let me know the name, let me know the brand, and I'll most likely end up doing a Sephora haul in one of my next videos to show you guys what I got. Um... I do the I do use concealer. I stopped using concealer like two years ago because I feel like I didn't need it anymore. But because of all the stuff that people have been going through and the world has been going through, including myself, um, I clearly you know have all these dark circles and all this stuff on my face. So I do use concealer because it helps me not look as tired as I am. And I use first of all, I love this brand. I wish they had not shut down their stores and only went online, but life happens. I use the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer with Satin Finish, and this is in Tan Walnut. I'm really light right now, but come summer, like June, I get like four shades darker. It's insane. And I like their products because they're very light on the, on the skin and on the face, so they don't feel as heavy as other brands do. But again, that is my own personal opinion to each their own. Boom. All right. So those are the products that I use on a daily basis. I use the
the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow gel on my eyebrows. I did the CoverGirl um, eyeliner, the two mascaras from Maybelline and Rimmel, and then I do the e.l.f. concealer. So that you will see on my face every day. Now, these are the products that I don't use on a daily basis. So the first one is actually a birthday gift that I got from my boyfriend last year. It is by this company called Besame Cosmetics. They are a Mexican-based company in LA. And this is their I Love Lucy collection. And this is the Ricky Ricardo's Club Babaloo eyeshadow palette. It is such a cute palette. It is my favorite palette, actually, that I've ever had. Sir. Um, all the colors are like very light pastel shades. Uh, you obviously have your browns and your tans, but um, it's my favorite palette because all the colors are very complimentary when it comes to making them either bases for their eyeshadow looks or as um, different blending looks. So it definitely, it's definitely a fun palette to work with. I rarely use it. I do use it. Uh, but again, I don't go out like that and I don't like putting a bunch of makeup on my face. So I'd rather just let it sit here and look really pretty. And then, you know, when I use it, I use it. Oh, and this is the packaging for it. Lucy herself is on the packaging, which I think is so cute. And it was probably my favorite birthday gift I'd ever gotten because unfortunately I had a Frida Kahlo makeup collection that got destroyed in a house fire last year and um I hadn't even gotten to use it yet I literally it was sitting there on my dresser and I never got to touch it I only got to open it as a gift from my mom and my boyfriend went out of his way and replaced all my makeup that I had lost and it was the most just heartwarming thing he had ever done and then also from the best of make cosmetics as well as from as a part of the gift was their lipstick, their red shade. <laughs> okay. And <laughs> it's a beautiful lipstick. This I use more than I actually use eyeshadow palette. It's really nice. It's just a beautiful shade of red. Um, I don't know. I might do a full look for you guys today. Let's see what happens. Let's see how I'm feeling. All right. Next, she needs to come out with another album already. But I know she she got her her makeup line. I know she got her her lingerie line. So I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not sad. I'm not mad. This is my favorite highlight on the planet. It is Trophy Wife by Fenty Beauty. We all love Rihanna very much. Thank you, girl, for blessing us with this beautiful makeup line. It took me a year to finally purchase this highlighter. Every time I went to Sephora or I would check online, it was sold out everywhere. And it got me so upset that I could not find it. And one day, I think it was beginning of summer last year, I finally was like, F this, I need to get it. Cause I kept seeing all the reviews about it and how people loved it and how it looked on everyone's skin. And I was like, I need to get this highlighter. And I went on Amazon, I bought it on Amazon and I ordered it on Amazon and I finally got it. And I was ecstatic. So yeah, those are the products that I don't use on an everyday basis. But I do use every now and then when I want to get dressed up. And I want to do my face real nice. That's what I use. So now I'm going to show you guys the makeup look that I do every day. And then I will try and see if I want to do a look with the eyeshadow palette and with the red lipstick. And with the highlight and do like the whole nine. I'll probably do like a really simple look with the red lipstick. And let's see how this goes. So I'm going to start with actually putting the Jergens Ultra Healing Lotion on my face. Only because it is very helpful right now that I just got out the shower. So I put it on my neck. Boom, boom, boom. Put it on my face. If you see me looking this way, it's because there's a mirror directly in front of me. So I'm going to be looking at the mirror. But I am also going to try and look at the camera as well. Whew. That feels so good. All right. Ahora tú no cambio, le toca a ella. Kill the game. Ayer la vi, perreando solita. Se ve más bonita. Ahora que no está con ese man. 
Que la felicidad como ropa se la quita Que yo siempre estaba cuando tú no estabas Fue tanto dolor que ya no me mataba Poco a poco ya no te necesitaba Y yo sonreía mientras lo enrolaba Y tú Diciendo que fue falta de actitud Pero en esta relación hice más que tú yeah. Y en un estado te mando a decir que Ahora tú cambió Me toca a ella Mari una Maltrato se puso bella Ahora tú la quieres y no te quiere ella Ahora todo cambió, le toca a ella Pari y una botella Gracias al maltrato se puso bella Ahora tú la quieres y no te quiere ella Ahora quiere que la grabe Vacilando y que se le enseñe a él Ya no le gusta seguir so, That's the look I do on a daily basis So this is what I look like After this whole like 15 minute process of trying to get my eyebrows to be even. It's just, anyway. So right. I'm gonna save the full eyeshadow lipstick look for next time for a new video. I think that'll be a fun process to watch as well. So I'm just gonna leave this like this. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. The links to all the products that we used in today's video will be in the description box below. Make sure you hit that bell button to get notifications on when I post new videos. I post every Thursday and Saturday. See you guys in the next video. Thank you so much guys for watching my video. Like, comment, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Hit that bell button to get notifications on when I post new videos. And in the description box below will be the links to my website. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter account. See you in the next video.